So we can't say anything. We really can't. It's our lives that speaks for itself. And having said that, I've, I have had, everybody has, really, they, they should have a very private life. A lot of people are different, though. They're, we can respect that there's so many varieties, and you wish that there was respect for that. See, the narcissist thinks that everybody should be the same, and, and they should be like them. And it's hard to tell who is who. See, find out who's trying to um, communicate more in detail about things. Now, that's what narcissists are just arguing because they can, because it makes them feel like somebody's there. And, and it's like, once you find that out, like, you know, you can, you can fall into this stuff because everybody wants to manipulate and try to get something into them. And, um, and it's a temporary state of having become, uh, low enough to have narcissistic traits, which goes the shoddy route of like mind manipulation and lying and just childish, childish things that we, we kind of get over it when we're a kid and we don't let ourselves, we don't fool ourselves about our minds. We don't just, we don't walk around thinking, well, nobody knows that I have this hell hole. And because it's like, no, the wise people know that you're dealing with that and how are you doing with it? You know, you don't ever make it more real. And see, the thing is, is that it, it could, you can, and the only way it becomes more real than the truth is that it starts to glom onto itself. Now, this is where we get people, people, people gathering in large groups. Very dangerous situation. Who knows what stupid fucking people can do in, in large groups, but there it is. It's happening out there. All they're doing is shutting out the truth. Now, look at the church. Look at Jesus Christ. What's hanging on the cross there? Is that an easel holding up a painting that says, hey, uh, what's painted on there and why do we have to throw it out? I happen to think it was the ultimate truth painted on there. You want to know what the ultimate truth looks like in your story of your life? Holy gospel right here. Do you see anything on there? Nope. Try now on for a size. That's it. Watch what happens if you try to get into your real life. Watch what happens. You want to become somebody who realizes that there is dragons that you need to become friends with. And then there's also demons that do not like you to know anything about your real life. How that maybe, maybe. You're making a breakthrough. It, it's pretty fucking scary. It's pretty fucking scary. You see, over the last three years, this is what happened to a lot of people. They begin to see some things, begin to, to, to get past their hellhole, and they begin to take their breath in such a way that, you know, some people, they had really trippy mystical experience probably near death getting really far out there right dark night of the soul coming back still making these videos <laughs> um still not through it not necessarily healed but the more that you're able to see and communicate things the lesser the pain, the lesser the problem, the more that it starts to transmute, the more that indeed, babes, you can heal, you can heal, we can heal. And and please, um, just know the nature that the things are not set in stone here. The belief systems that maintain something at an, a profound, staggering, stagnated, rate of evolution that in fact causes de-evolution it's going to just be rinsed away it's got to be wiped away it's happening already some people are wanting to just do something different they don't understand what's happening with them and they're getting hung up on a lot of stuff and you know what have faith 
that something, God is trying to show you something beyond your suffering. You have to go into it and look at it. Is there anybody else there with you, helping you? Yes, there is. There's always something. It, even if it becomes like, you know, what I'm dealing with is like, it's like, okay, so I can't do anything but learn from th this, this experience of, of coming to and thinking, okay, I really need a good, a ripe community, one that that is helping themselves so they can definitely help me. You know, when you're helping yourself, what you're doing, you're finding the right food to eat that makes you feel good enough to work these things out and solve problems. You're drinking high alkaline water. You figured out a source. You kind of know that most things are poisons out, out there and you don't fall for the click and the fucking recent trend that is really just a fucking charades game virtue signaling against being healthy and make insane here. And see, so notice how he didn't say anything like, well, you just make a bunch of money and you get your shiny shit and you build your fences up and you start throwing bombs at each other. I'm sorry, I'm... There's a spiritual illness that comes with being surrounded by the spiritually ill. You know, as well as there's a contagion where the fact is, and we're going to see this, just this is what I'm living for. You stay rebelling against the darkness and you say no, and you just turn up a light. You get your communication down, just start turning it up. Has that ever happened to you? You'll find that you'll start agitating at the rate, and it's an alarm, but you should, but the, 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 the you know, you say the narcissist will make you start clarifying yourself very clearly, and you're going to say everything down to the detail, and now you're seeing auras, and you can see every bit of the math, but the math inside of the math, and it's like, and now I see it, it's like, they don't care. What they do, what they're doing is just like a child they're plugging into it like yeah I got attention, <laughs> and, and they don't understand a fucking diddly goddamn fucking thing that you are. But know this, know this. You are remaining in high vibrational frequency now. <laughs> Not when you're expending the energy to try to make them understand. Make yourself understand what's happening. Make yourself understand what's happening through that self-talk, through the just watching yourself. Now, why am I agitating so bad? It's because you're defending yourself. You're using like um, uh, shrapnel or like artillery of knowledge. And you're saying details of which is like this and the point so we get joy and joy is real over happiness. It's just a feeling. And boy, are you achieved enough to experience that? Did you ever allow it in? No. Oh, and no. What is the game that you're playing now with your fucking mind with everybody else's mind? And you just plug it in. You just plug it in. Huh? Mm, what a fucking dirty place to go to get energy. Where do you think you go to get energy? You fucking narcissists. People. Dirty, dirty, dirty form of fucking energy getting right there. Nope. We're going to keep talking about this and you're not, and you're going to keep disliking it. Um, I'm somebody who is going to continue to radiate. I don't feed into YouTube and say, yes, um, make me um, something. Dun, dun, dun. It's up to you people to take a chance with something beyond your fear, beyond that shadow of a doubt that you have, which is called beliefs. You know, because we are going to keep radiating. Beyond, um, beyond, you know, I, I, I really do admire the Hopi Indians that when you watch them in court, you know, I would think that they would be so, they would be so fucking angry that that court should be wiped out. Scalp them all. But no. Their demeanors. The way that they just, they're just calm, calmly speaking. I'm going to learn that and I am going to be learning that and I am learning it. I've been through some things in the past six months that I can see. Um, see, I can see, but I can see the use. I can see the use for spontaneous emotional outbreak. Baby Jesus, is that you crying? Is that the first thing? We use to respond on a wholesome, real life, authentic level of being? Yes. So, I'm sorry, but I am, I am the general, I am the leader that says you act with full spontaneity 
and you ask questions later. If you are righteous, you yell and spit in their fucking face. And then I think you, with that, you open up a little organization that says, and if we ever see people doing this in this area ever again, especially planet Earth, acting non-conscientiously, with this rotten piggy fucking shit, you should be all fucking set up into town, in the middle of town, and we get to scrape our shit out of our asses and throw it at you, and say, don't do it anymore! Because what? How are these people going to learn? They want it served to you. That's a fucking game they're playing. Eventually, you want to go up there with a goddamn scythe and chop their fucking heads off. Have a nice day.